Hi friends, welcome back to Python Panda Sports video series presented by Narendra from Do With Python Technologies. In this video, we are going to see data structures of pandas. That means, that means what is data structure and what are the different types of data structures in your pandas. So before going to see data structures of pandas, first of all, I want to say what is data structure or data structures, right? See, you might know from basics of your Python, you have some concepts called list, tuple, dictionaries, and sets, right? So those are basically data structures, basic data structures in your Python. So why we are using all those things, list, tuple, dictionary, and sets? Just simply to store some data, right? So simply, data structure is nothing but T is used to store collection of data. Suppose straightforward, if you take some simply x equals to two, here you are storing one only one data into variable called x. But whenever if you want to store multiple data, collection of data, then there data structures will help us how to store your data. Right? Simply whenever if you want to store multiple or collections of data collection of data, then you are using data structures. And in your basic Python, you are having data structures are called list, tuple, dictionary, and sets. Right? Now, you are using these list, tuple, dictionary, and sets in your basic Python as a data structure to store collection of data. The same way, whenever if you want to work with data analysis and data science with the help of pandas, okay? You need to know what are the different types of data structures are supported by pandas, right? Or if you want to be good with data analysis and data science with the help of pandas, then you must learn data structures of pandas. And especially you have to know more details about data frame of pandas. Actually data frame is one of the data structure in your pandas. Guys, this is not basic data structure whenever if you install pandas on your host then only you are allowed to use data frames and uh, remaining data structures of your pandas so actually this pandas consists of series data frame and panel these are the three extra data structures whenever if you install pandas in your host right so basically these are you are having as a data structures in your python list tuple dictionary and sets and once if you install pandas along with that you are also having three more data structures now you are having one two three four sorry four and three seven data structures you are having in your python and anyway we already know that whenever if you install pandas it will also install by default numpy because Pandas depends on numpy module, right? And you know, in numpy, you are having one more data structure called ND array. Now, finally, whenever if you install pandas, you are having data structures, four default data structures, list, tuple, dictionary, and sets, plus ND array from numpy, plus three data structures from your pandas. So you are having eight data structures as of now if you go with pandas and with the default python right remember that one is nd array which is from numpy module three are from your pandas they are series data frame and panel and these four are default python data structures called list tuple dictionary and sets right mm -hmm. and you know what is the usage of when you have to use this list tuple dictionary and sets right in your basic python concept same way you are having here data structures of your pandas as series, data frame, and panel. Then, series is here, it's like one dimensional data structure. Or simply it is like C arrays. You know, uh, of course, C arrays again are also similar to your list, tuple, and sets. But the difference is list, tuple, right? In list and tuple, you are going to store any type of data. So you can store in the list integer float string complex any data you can store into list data structure 
but whereas in C arrays you can store always similar data types. So if you are going to define some array in C, suppose you are going to store only integer numbers. Suppose if it if you start with integer, it is not allowed to store four comma six dot zero or eight plus three j or some string, right? That is the concept in C arrays. So same way here. that similar data is called homogeneous data so sorry series data structure in your pandas are allowed to store only homogeneous data structures or homogeneous data in this structure and and this is with fixed size once if you define your series that is with fixed size you cannot change the size right so it allowed to store homogeneous data means similar data types you can store into series and it is with fixed data size then second thing is data frame it is like two dimensional data so suppose if you take your table or csv file or excel sheet so you are having rows and columns now for this type of data whenever if you have excel sheets or csv file or the data which you are going to form a csv or excel sheet at that time you need to create data frame then only you can able to store your data into csv or excel sheet or you can also copy your data from excel sheet or csv into your current program okay so simply data frame you can blindly you can feel that data frame is nothing but looks like uh, csv or excel sheet means rows and columns or simply tables whenever if you want to work with tables then only you have to go and use data frame and of course data analysis right and data science most of the cases you are going to work with this data frame only that's why it is very very important okay and it is not like homogeneous data if you, if you are going to store some data into data frame of your pandas you can store any type of data into that suppose if you take excel sheet no you are having first row suppose header second row maybe any value maybe number or string or float or complex whatever it may be that's why data frame will support heterogeneous type of data and whenever if you want to change the your data in the data frame yes you can change or you can alter right that's why it is mutable size you can change and mutable data you can also change the data which is stored in your data frame and this is the very very important data structure in your pandas suppose if you want to work with the graphics then you have to go with panel three dimensional okay it is for graphical representation of data it also supports for heterogeneous heterogeneous data that means any type of data combination of any type of data you can store into panel same as data frame the only difference between data frame and panel is panel is for 3d data frame is for 2d like your tables right and if you want to create any any type of data structure in your pandas you can create these data structures with uh, by using list or tuple and dictionaries and even using nd array also you can also create all these data structures of your pandas using list tuple dictionaries and nd array and also you can create from csv and excel sheets but from csv and excel sheet you cannot create series that's why i'm not mentioning here but overall you are going to work with most of the case with the data frame right whenever if you are going to work uh, like data analysis or data science there you will use most of the cases data frame but for data frame you can create that data frame using list tuple dictionaries nd array csv files or even existing data frame you can also copy to new data frame okay so guys this is very simple information about data structures and data structures of pandas or data structure different types of data structures in your, in your pandas okay the only thing you have to remember is this is the most useful thing okay, if you are going to work with graphics this is also important one okay so while going forward we will discuss uh, separately about each data structure how to create series how to create data frame how to create panel and how to work with each and every data structure but most of the cases we will go with data frame 
okay okay guys thank you for watching this video do subscribe my channel so that you will you will get updates whenever we post some new videos okay if you like this video just give your thumbs up and share this with your friends as well okay bye